Hi guys, hope you're doing well, hope you're thriving. My name is Doreen. If you're new here, you are welcome to this channel. This is a channel where we share about women wellness and well-being and we share topics related to women, skincare, fashion, business, all things to do with women, we talk about them. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to share about self-sabotage. And I want to start by reading a quote that I read about self-sabotage. It says, Many of us plan for failure, but we never plan for success. Success is good. It's what we want to, it's what we want. So instead of worrying about failure that we are working towards, how about we worry about success and how to handle it when it comes? Yeah, so that is self-sabotage. That is what self-sabotage does. Self-sabotage sees that you're going to succeed and you see yourself that you're going to succeed, but because you don't know how to handle the success that will come out of the actions that you're doing, the plans that you have made, the strides that you're taking towards, you know, achieving your goals. So because you don't know how to handle the success or you worry how that success is going to look, so you sabotage yourself. Yeah, so self-sabotage is you're worried about success. I would like to share some of the things that we can do to avoid sabotaging ourselves. So one of the things is affirmations. You know, affirm yourself. Tell yourself that you deserve this success. You deserve the table that you've been called to. You deserve to be a member of that board that you've been invited to. You deserve all the success that is coming your way because you have worked so hard. You have worked so smart and now success is coming yeah so look for affirmations against self-sabotage and speak them to yourself tell yourself you are worthy you are hardworking. this opportunity was made for you and then go after all the things that are bringing you success and then one of the things is to practice kindness towards yourself you know you wish all these things to for other people you wish success for other people you wish them well so how about you also wish well yourself wish yourself well you know you know wish all these things for yourself don't sabotage yourself don't uh, stop yourself or limit yourself from going after things that are bringing you success and then another thing is to surround yourself with people who call greatness out of you people who are out there to see you achieve your best life people who encourage you to go after your dreams people who will hold you accountable they will ask you doreen you said you'll start a youtube channel where is it we are not seeing any videos coming and if two videos come and you know you relax like for a month someone will ask you like i have not seen a video out of you you know for the last one month what is going on yeah so those are the people your network your net worth those are the people who are out there to make sure that you achieve the best version of yourself. So surround yourself with such people. Another thing to do is to plan, plan, plan and prepare ourselves. We always say that we want more money, but we never plan for how that more money is going to change our lifestyles. So let me say you're living in a house of 200K and now you've gotten a salary increment. So are you going to change? Are you going to upgrade your house? Are you going to maybe say that, okay, let me stay in this house of 100K, then I invest the money. So when you've planned for success, when it comes, you're not scared or you're not worried or you're not shocked, you know, because you have planned for how much, for how that success is going to be in your life. So look ahead. A story is told of a woman, I think, who had, you know, gone into these things of rotary, is it, who are those things of winning rotary. So the woman would just keep falling down, falling down. So the son was like, mommy, why do you keep falling down? She was like, I'm practicing how I will react when they tell me that I have won the rotary. So start practicing. Ask yourself, okay, now I'm earning 200,000. When I start earning 500,000, do I want to change the way I dress? If I'm to change the way I dress, what am I going to be into? Do I want to change house? Do I want to sponsor people? Do I want to, you know, uh, look after someone? So plan, plan and prepare for success because it is coming. Another way to combat self-sabotage is self-awareness. So if you've realized that you have self-sabotage tendencies or behaviors, you know, now that you know, you know, they say the first step to healing is to know and acknowledge that that is what you're going through. So now that you know that you suffer or you have 
self sabotage tendencies what are you going to do about it so this is where you look for ways or some of these things that i'm sharing so that you can go out of that self sabotage tendencies you know they say do not let anyone or anything hold you back not even yourself yeah so when you realize that when you know that then you know how to go how to move forward I shared a video about self-awareness and I shared so many things about self-awareness, like aspects of self-awareness. And one of them was temperaments. I think the temperaments, the sanguine, the choleric, the phlegmatic, those ones. Eh? So I shared how I realized that because I'm a phlegmatic, that is why I procrastinate so much. So sometimes when you do not know, you do not know. And ignorance is not bliss, you people. It is not bliss. Yeah, so... Go out there, find out, you're like, eh, I have self-sabotage tendencies. What do I need to do about it? Go look for videos, how to combat self-sabotage. Some of these things I'm sharing with you. And then you practice those things so that you can be the best version of yourself. You wish these things for other people. Why don't you wish them for yourself? And one of the people that actually self-sabotage the most are women. Women, we self-sabotage ourselves the most. Like we feel, we feel like our voice does not matter. If you have something to say, if you have something very important to say, please speak up. You know, say it. Yes, and we always know so much, but the confidence and the boldness to go out there and say what we know is what we don't have. Yeah, so prepare yourself and when your opportunity comes to speak up, actually go and look for the opportunity and speak up, you know, be bold, be confident in who you are, in your opinion, in your and the knowledge that you have and share confidently as a woman. And another thing that causes self-sabotage is age. Some of us think that I'm so young. What am I bringing to the table? You know, life is 360. You know, it is 360 degrees. The old need the young. The young need the old. The middle need the old and the young. So at any one point, you have something more than someone above you or someone below you. So you can share that, that which you have and you'll find that you've encouraged someone out there. Mm -hmm. If you've been working hard at work, you've been working smart, the numbers are coming in, the numbers are looking good and you know the bosses have started looking at you and they want to give you that promotion. When they call you to defend yourself, please go and defend yourself. By the time they have called you in to tell you about that promotion, then that means they see your value. So go out there and you know take on those promotions when they come for the influencers if there's a brand that has reached out to you then they have seen your success they have seen that you can succeed at uh, advertising their company yeah so don't downplay yourself go out there in confidence that you know what I deserve all the success that is coming to me. I deserve everything that is coming to me. If a company advertises and they hire you, that means they see your value. That means they see what you're bringing to the table. That means they see your expertise. So go in that company with boldness. Take that that take that thing with you that they used to hire you and go with it in boldness and transform that company. They need you. So act like you are worthy of it all and go after it. Yeah, so that's what I had to share today. I know this is a conversation that could go on and on. There are so many things that we can do to beat self-sabotage. There are so many things out there that there are symptoms or so many things that show that you are sabotaging yourself so we shall keep this conversation going please leave comments below in the comment section where you felt like you're sabotaging yourself and what you are doing about it to be better yeah so that is it for this episode i hope you've been encouraged uplifted and motivated to be the best version of yourself let's keep the conversations going in the comment section bye see you in the next video